COVID-19 has impacted cancer control globally, and the response by the cancer community has been extraordinary, hence this year's celebrations are focusing more on the collective efforts on the long-term challenges that the cancer possesses to every individual in the country. Uh, it is very easy to forget about cancer in the midst of all the other problems that we are facing, be it malaria, HIV, and other communicable diseases. So this World Cancer Day commemoration is very important. And the good thing is that it's not just a day. The whole of the month of February is World Cancer Month. And out of that, we have two days which are significant. We have today, the 4th, which is the World Cancer Day, and then we have the 15th, which is the World Childhood Cancer Day. Cancer Institute is said to launch a comprehensive cancer patient navigation program as effective navigation to eliminate barriers patients face to access timely cancer screening, diagnosis, treatment and supportive care. The program will focus on the delivery of clinical navigation, which is a provision of education and resources to patients and caregivers for better decision making and adherence to treatment. This clinical navigator or the experienced nurse will sit with this patient such so that the patient explores all, the, explores all the questions with the patient and at the end of it all they are acting within the same care setting with the rest of the team. That is the first part. The second part, when a patient is going to treatment, uh, this person will sit with the patient to make the patient explore all those that takes to go through treatment successfully, including knowing the treatment, how long it will take, what exactly the side effect of treatment, all those aspects, what do I eat, what do I do? So some of this is going to happen within the care setting. It's not separate, it's integrated into the care of patients in UCI. The Executive Director of Uganda Cancer Institute, Dr. Jackson Oriem, applauded the government for the continued support in fighting cancer in the country by setting up regional cancer centers in areas of Gulu, Arua, Mbale and Barara to enable extension of services to masses. The next question that is going to come is now, why don't we move to the districts and then from the district community? I think that is really the progression that we should be looking at. And I'm very glad to say that uh, we are actually moving in that direction, given the question that you had about the National Cancer uh, uh, Plan. World Cancer Day aims to save millions of preventive deaths each year by raising awareness and education about cancer and pressing governments and individuals across the world to take action against the disease. Zahara Abigaba, UBC.